Hi, this is uh, Steve from Synthrotech, and I'm here today to show you guys our new eight or 10 step sequencer kits that we have. Um, we're gonna also be having some cases to put them in, but right now I've just kind of built one to, um, this is a prototype version. It's uh, not exactly uh, the way that we're going to be making them. It'll be similar, but the cases will be a little more pro and whatnot. But this is how I've taken the kit, put it into this enclosure, and come up with uh, an eight or 10 step sequencer. As you'll notice on the sequencer, there is a reset, similar to the Voice of Saturn style, but um, what it is is you've got one through 10 steps. Um, today I'm gonna be stopping it at step eight so that you can just kind of dig the sounds of an eight step sequencer. Um, I'll be plugging it into a couple of different devices. The first one's gonna be the Gakken SX150 and just kind of hear how that sounds. It's a pretty cheap kit for getting a, uh, a fully usable sequencer, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check it out. Well, right now we have, um, like I said, the eight or 10 step sequencer kit that we built from Synthrotex. Um, kits online, starting at like 35 bucks. Depending how detailed you want to make it, you don't have to put in LEDs or switches or any of that kind of stuff if you don't want to, but um, Anyway, it's pretty simple, fun little build to make. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm connecting it to my Gakken, and I've made this little jig that kind of comes out of the control voltage here that splits off um, uh, into some alligator clips where I can take one of the alligator clips, the body of the of the um, of the jack, and, I'll, and then I'll take the pin of the jack and plug it into the stylus here that comes with the Gakken. Um, that'll allow me to basically control it with my sequencer. So I'm just gonna turn this on and mess around and make some sounds and just kinda say how you like it. to get some different sounds. We can also adjust uh, the tempo here. Speed it up. And um, what we hear is we have a master reset that we can like move to any of the different steps, which will reset at that step. So check it out. Turn it down for a second. 
Um, we also, this, this, this sequencer also allows you to, depending on how you build it out, you can take, uh, you can turn off the clock and get a clock input from a different device. You also could take the clock of this device and bring it out and actually use it for um, another sequencer or whatever you really want to use there. So this is kind of how it is with the, with the, with the GAC and I'm also going to show you a video of what it looks like with um, our um, Atari pump console and hopefully a couple of other little fun things. So uh, you can build the kit like this yourself. Like I said, starting at 35 bucks, going up to about 100 bucks. Um, awesome little device. Thanks for checking it out. I'll give you a little more sounds. Thank <laughs> you.